Now, we're all agreed that wildlife in the southeast needs to be conserved, but how should we go about it? Does nature know best? Emma Thomas reports. If you're a grey squirrel, this is a really scary sight. It's a pine martin and the enemy of the squirrel. But there are plans to reintroduce it to the English countryside. It's part of a concept called rewilding. The idea is to return nature to as it once was. Peter Smith is a conservationist at the Wildwood Trust near Canterbury, and it's his dream to bring it back. Pine martens are just one of the strands of nature that we've snuffed out. We need to start building our ecology back to what it was. Hunters were worried about them eating birds' eggs, so they were trapped, gassed and killed. Pine martens became extinct, certainly in this area, 150 years ago. Bizarrely, reintroducing a creature that kills squirrels might just save our native red ones. Red squirrels can jump and leap much better. The poor greys, they're going to really suffer. They can't run as fast. They spend a lot of time on the ground. They have to change their behaviours if they don't want to be eaten. So the red squirrels have adapted over thousands and thousands of years to live in with pine martens and they can thrive even when there's pine martens around. This is all part of a 10-year experiment to see if the red squirrels bred here could be released into the wild and thrive again. Wildwood Animal Park has been keeping a close eye on the pine martin babies in this nest box. Well, you can see two pine martins which were born earlier this year, and we're hoping that in the next couple of years we will get all the agreements from all the bodies that need to be for us to reintroduce these animals back to the woodlands.